you have seen her a long time. Yeah. How are you feeling after that one? It was great. It was fun. You know, I got to fly around, uh, make some plays, and uh, yeah, it was a good time, man. I was just focused on, uh, you know, getting ready for week one. So yeah, it's been a, it's been a great off season. Had a little fun out there, but yeah, it's time. It's it's about that time. Max, there isn't necessarily a lot of players at your caliber that are taking that many snaps in the preseason. Why why do you decide to go ahead and do that? No, it's on the coaches. You know, they uh, AP wanted us to you know play a little bit in the preseason. You know, everybody has their own philosophy. You see the Chiefs; those guys are playing a little bit. So um, everybody's got their own thing. Some teams don't play at all. Um, you know, I haven't played much in the preseason at all in my career. Uh, but every time I get to go out there, you know, play some ball, it's, it's fun. Is this the time in camp, Max, where you guys are just ready to get to the season now? Um, you know, not necessarily. You know, for me, it's just it's literally just a day-to-day process. That's all that matters to me. One percent improvement every day, and uh. You know, whether that's playing zero snaps in the preseason or playing a little bit, regardless, you know, we're still in training camp and we're and we're just focused on being the best version of ourselves. So yeah, we got a lot of work to do. You know, it's like you said, it's preseason. Um, got a lot of work to do as a as a unit. Um, a lot of guys trying to you know prove themselves, make the team, and uh, that's what we're focused on right now. I know we're not playing next week, so um, we're going to see a lot of the, a lot of the young guys get after it, and we're we're excited for them to you know get an opportunity and you know continue you know improving. So yeah, it's it's that time. You know, it's about a week until the cut. So. Um, just gotta gotta improve overall across the board. AP had said that there are some things in the run fits that he wanted to see he cleaned up. Did you feel you guys made some strides there? Yeah, I mean, I feel like uh, you know up there with the with the first group, you know, we did some good things. Um, we had a couple, I think, a couple three and outs. Um, you know, they had a couple nice, you know, little runs that got a little leaky, but um, overall, I thought you know we we did a, a pretty good job. You know, there's always room for improvement. Uh, that's what the preseason is for. Um, so yeah, we just got to clean some things up. You know, we're we're trying some new things up. You know, up front too, just um, seeing you know the effectiveness of it as well. So um, you know, you know, we we definitely just got to keep improving. You know, I feel like we we definitely you know did did some good things. How much are you paying attention, if at all, to the quarterback battle going on between those two guys? Oh, um, you know, I am. You know, at the end of the day, you know, I want to win, and uh, you know, the best guy's going to win. So yeah, I know those guys are competing. Um, the best man's going to win, and. Uh, I know that decision's coming here soon. So uh, for me, you know, like I said, you know, before, like at the end of the day, I just want the best guy, um, you know, leading us. And, um, you know, that's going to work itself out. So uh, we'll see what happens. Quick question. I I wouldn't ask you to tell us who you think at quarterback. That's private. But as a captain, will you voice your opinions to your coach? Um, You know, that's that's their decision. You know, at the end of the day, that's Mm -hmm. the offensive side of the ball. They got to do, you know, they got to make that decision for, you know this team, and I uh, figure out who who's the best guy to do it. So uh, whoever that guy's going to be, that's that's ultimately on you know AP and the front office, and you know that you know the coaches, you know that are with them every single day. So yeah, you know I'm you know I'm staying out of that, but you know for me, my opinion is the best man is going to win. You know I want the guy who's going to go out there and help us win football games. So that's truly all that matters to me. Mentioned the young guys. Are the young guys have caught your attention so far in the camp and preseason? Yeah, for sure. You know, there's a, there's a lot of young guys competing, um, fighting for jobs, and uh, you know, there's there's a lot of guys. You know, and at the end of the day, um, you know, it's it's a little different. You know, being on the other side, being a vet, you know, just kind of sharing advice and trying to help those dudes out because you know they're trying to make make their dream come true. Um, and for me as a leader, you know, just trying to give them as much nuggets as I possibly can, work with them, you know, on a daily basis, and. Um, you know, hopefully they can continue applying uh, some of the things. You know, you see uh, guys getting better every day. So uh, there's definitely things we need to clean up. But uh, at the end of the day, um, you know, like you said, the, there's only so many roster spots. And uh, this year it's a little bit different. There's not like a first cut, second cut, whatever. It's just like one big cut. So uh, we'll see what happens. You know, I'm, you know, I want everybody to make the team. But at the end of the day, there's no, you know, that's not realistic. And, um, you know, the best guys are going to make the team. So we'll see what happens. How, how proud are you of Matthew Butler? He he. Robbie talked about last year. He didn't even want to coach him. Yeah. This year he loves him. Yeah. And Matthew talked about that with me, and he even talked about you know you were hard on him, and it made him better. How yeah. proud are you for how he's taken it and really turned it around this season? Um, that's one guy I love. You know, at the end of the day, uh, he's a he's a great teammate. Um, he works his ass off every day. Comes in with a with the intention to improve and uh. That's that's a guy you can't help but but root for and uh, want in your corner. So Matt Butler, absolute stud. Um, you know me and him, we're real close. Uh, we spent a lot of time together, especially in the off season as well. Like he's with me working out as well, um, and just he's constantly learning and improving. And uh, that's a guy you always want to see uh, do a great job out there. So you see it. You know the work is is where it starts, and you see it. You know starting to you know apply to his play uh, on the field. So I uh, can't say enough good things about him. Dude's an absolute stud. Awesome, thank you.